This series of videos is intended for ITC personnel, but may also benefit district staff in explaining the cause of the 103 errors. ITC assistance is usually required. The 103E may generate three types of errors. It will display the tag number and error, and then a description of the error. This video will cover the second type of error that may be generated, which is the ending balance amount not equal to zero. The following formula is used for each active item on the 103. The sum of the current year's acquisitions plus the item's beginning balance amount stored in the beginning info section of the item's domain and data tree minus the original cost should equal zero. If it doesn't, the error message is issued and the item is not included on the 103 report. The cause of this error is usually tied to an item that has been disposed of. An item that has been disposed of this year should have an ending balance amount of zero. After EIS close is run at the end of year, at the end of the year, the item will no longer be included on the gap balances at the beginning of the new year. To double check the formula, first look up the tag in acquisition transaction and double check if any acquisitions were posted this year. For our example, there was only one acquisition posted, but it was back in April of 1998. Next, look up the tag and item screen and check the status to see if it's D for disposed of, and also check the original cost. If this item was disposed of, check for a disposition transaction. Verify that the date is in the current fiscal year. For our example, there were no current year acquisitions. The beginning balance is unknown. The original cost is 14,036.05. That should equal zero. In order for this formula to be correct, our beginning balance should be 14,036.05. Because this item was active at the beginning of the current fiscal year, it wasn't disposed of until halfway through the year. We need to access the items domain and data tree to verify the beginning balances for this item. You want to ready the items domain and data tree, find the tag in question, by ready items shared modify, find a collection in items with inv inventory tag equal to that inventory number, list all beginning info. If the item was disposed of during the current year, the beginning info data should be displayed and the beginning balance field should still have the amount because at the beginning of the year this item was still active. Posting a disposition transaction does not clear out the beginning balance amount in data tree. The beginning info data, including the beginning balance amount, will be erased when the district runs EIS close for the year. In our example above, the beginning balance amount is empty. This is the cause of the error. Using data tree, modify the beginning balance amount by adding the original cost of it as it was at the beginning of the fiscal year. Because no acquisitions were added during, year, during the year, the current original cost was the original cost at the beginning of the year. Rerun the 103 and no EIS 103 report, air report should be generated. Our formula now is correct. The sum of the current year acquisitions is still zero. The beginning balance is 14,036.05 minus our original cost of 14,036.05 equals zero. Please refer back to the video selection for other EIS 103 errors.